Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 was released on October 24th of 2023, about three months ago when I'm making this video, and we still haven't heard any news on a potential Volume 2. So the games are Metal Gear Solid 4, which has not seen any re-release on any other console besides its official releasing on PS3 in June of 2008. For Peace Walker, it did have a re-release for PS3. The game was bundled with MGS2 and 3 and 4, MGS5, Ground Zeroes, and Phantom Pain, the game didn't come out that long ago and trying to re-release it for last gen consoles, which are PS4 and Xbox One obviously, um, that would be kind of pointless to re-release it for that gen. Which it, for next gen, Xbox Series S and X and also PS5, that could work because we could get better graphics, better enhancements, uh, better performance overall, and better quality of life updates. It would also be pretty hard to run those games on Switch. I think some hardware limitations might have to be sacrificed for that game. The reason I mentioned that, apparently there is a volume two of this Master Collection coming at some point in the future, and it might come after or before MGS3 Delta Snake Eater, the remake of MGS3. Um, there was a leak on Konami's website for MGS Portal, and there was a source code alluding to those games I mentioned before. And I'll throw it on screen for you guys. This is code for some of those games that I mentioned. And apparently to summarize it, also, I guess IGN has sources that have backed up this claim, which is pretty insane. So I'll be quite honest with you guys, I've never played MGS Peace Walker, which I heard is a pretty good game, but it does have some flaws. I think it was released for the PSP, right? And then it came out um, for a PS3 bundle with those other games that I mentioned, which were MGS2 and MGS3 back on the PS3. And I think that was in like 2011. I'm not too sure. I think it was re-released a year after, but to get these games, um, you know, packaged in volume two would be something very interesting. And I mean, think about it. Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom, Pain, and Ground Zeroes didn't come out that long ago. It's been a few years. And it is still quite sad that we do not have Hideo Kojima's involvement when any of these games, when he is the creator of this franchise. I just find it quite sad. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I saw that you guys did enjoy my last video talking about MGS. And if you guys would like to see more videos covering the topic, then let me know. But other than that, guys, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.